Hey, you. Yes, you watching this video. If you watching this video made this app in Nigeria, not only would you solve a huge problem, but you'd be really rich. Possibly really rich, yes. Now, if you live in Nigeria, you would know that trying to shop online from non-Nigerian sites is a hard thing. Now, you go on these non-Nigerian sites and when they say that you're a Nigerian, they change the price to Naira. And then you'll say, oh, it costs 10,000 Naira, let me buy it. So then you try to pay and it doesn't go through. Then you realize that you need to pay with like dollars, like a dollar card and all that. So you eventually get like a dollar card or something. And then you put the equivalent of 10,000 Naira into that card and it still doesn't go through. You now realize that, oh, you need to put in more money for this thing to work. And you put in even more money. And then from there, your transaction now goes through. And you're like, why is it like this? Like, why is it so hard? Why is it so confusing to know how much you're going to use to actually shop on? online with these sites this doesn't only happen when you want to shop online this also happens with in-app purchases for example like maybe you own an iphone or an android whatever and then you now see that the price is showing oh this thing is two thousand naira like to pay in the app and then you now try to do the same thing and you see that you're spending more than what they're showing you on your screen and you're now like, how am I supposed to know what exactly I'm supposed to spend for these things? Now, the problem here is this. These apps and these sites, they make use of the bank rate. That's the official rate by the CBN. But the problem is that we can't use our Naira cards to shop on these sites because, well, the CBN has made lots of laws that prevent us from actually using our Naira cards to shop on these sites. So you have no choice. If you really want to shop on these sites, you would need to get like a dollar card or something before you could do so. And well, there's the black market rate that everybody uses and it's higher than the CBN's rate and you have to shop at that rate. But yet these sites still are going to use the CBN's bank rate because they do not recognize what the black market rate is and it's hard for you to actually calculate this stuff. Now, I actually made a video about how to calculate this stuff, like when you want to, you know, shop on all these sites and you can watch it like up here in the description. So you basically have to go to CBN's website and then from there you do your calculations and whatever before you can do that. Just go watch my video, okay, please? Now, I know that I've been talking too much and I'm not telling you what you should do. So let me just tell you right now, like for the app that you should make if you want to solve the problem. Now, if you watching this video wanted to solve that problem on how you can actually let people know what they're actually meant to spend for these apps or these sites, then you should build an app that can automatically calculate these prices. Like, for example, if you get a price at the bank rate, it will convert that thing into the black market rate so you know how much you're using. Like, for example, so there is this in-app purchase here that costs like about 24 25,000 naira and then you can make an app where if you crunch in those numbers at the bank rate it's going to show you the exact amount you're meant to spend at the black market rate in naira so that when you're putting this into your dollar card it will be easy for you to know what you're doing now if you were to make this app you would solve so many people's problems right now because people don't really understand this thing if i try to explain this to people then you know they'll start being like uh, uh why is it like this why is it like that and you have to keep on explaining to them you explain and get tired and this app will just solve so many problems it will help so many people and you'll make so much money potentially so by you making this app you're literally gonna be superman and you're saving lives literally but you don't have to stop there you can do more now as we already know there are virtual dollar card apps and some of these apps may charge higher than the black market rate like for example chipper cash for example they charge slightly above the black market rate and you could actually solve that problem or there are even some banks like the providers bank for example where they have like a platinum mastercard or something and from what i've heard that their rates are way above the black market rate you could solve a problem here now you could integrate something in your app that works like this okay so chipper cash for example let's say now their rate is 1500 naira 
for a black market and then you still have something at the bank rate and you're converting that thing to the black market rate you can convert that thing to the rate of cheaper cash so that, that way you would know how much you're gonna put inside cheaper cash to pay for whatever you're doing or for them like the providers bank now you could have like a calculator that you know like when you're converting that thing to the black market it can convert to that price that providers bank is using and then from there you're saving your lives so many lives like you're gonna help so much people but wait you still don't have to stop there you can do even more now for example let's say now that i have a product from aliexpress and what i'm seeing is like ten thousand naira. what you could do is that you could tell people to share the link of this product that's shown in naira and then from there it will calculate everything for you based on how much you're meant to spend like you convert the ten thousand naira that's in the bank rate on aliexpress and then make it into the black market rate and like it will show you how much you're meant to put to actually be able to pay for the product you could do that and you'd solve so many problems like everyone the news outlets and everyone we're talking about you if you actually made this app but hold on there's still more that you can do okay okay i'm just kidding i don't really know of what to think about like anymore but for real if you actually did make this type of app and integrate it into the nigerian market you're going to solve so many problems so what do you think about this idea and who's gonna integrate it like for real anyone raise your hands please who's gonna do it so comment below what you think about this idea and i hope i see you guys next